West Bengal primary schools to be reopened after evaluating COVID-19 situation, says Chief Minister. Parisa schools to reopen from February 28 onwards. Madhya Pradesh government to open 10 new medical colleges in the state. MPBSC releases date sheet for MP board exams for classes 9 and 11. Banaras Hindu University resumes offline classes. IIT Jodhpur researchers identify COVID-19 RNA variations and their implications. Schools and coaching institutes in Chandigarh to reopen with full capacity from February 14th. Good afternoon and a warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network, where we get you the latest developments in education at the top of the sub. This is Nitya reporting from ENN and the Daily Stories are West Bengal schools will not be reopened until the state government reviews the situation. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on Thursday said that the COVID-19 situation will be reviewed before reopening primary schools in the state. Some caution should be exercised before reopening primary schools as there are warnings of another variant of coronavirus, she said. Schools in West Bengal reopened for classes 8 to 12 on February 3rd, while open-air learning sessions for students up to class 7 started four days later under a project named Paraya Shiksha Dev, that is Education Centre at your locality. On reopening primary schools, we will wait for a few more days and review the COVID-19 situation. We have heard that a new variant of the virus is coming. We have to keep a tab on that, Banerjee said. The reopening date for Odisha schools is now February 28, 2022, said the state government. The official notification about the same has been circulated amongst district collectors and DEOs. The schools have been instructed for physical classes. Earlier, the Odisha government asked schools to start physical classes for 1 to 9 standards, while students could also opt for online classes. Before that, Odisha School and Mass Education Minister S.R. Dash informed school students in Class 1 to Class 6 will return on February 14th. The decision to reopen schools, colleges and other educational institutions has been taken, considering the larger interest of students. The physical classes will be conducted with strict adherence to COVID protocols. All departments linked with education, school and mass education, higher education, skill development and technical education and others have been asked to issue guidelines and SOPs for reopening the institutions under their respective jurisdictions. The Madhya Pradesh government is all set to open 10 new medical colleges in the state. These new medical colleges will open to ensure an adequate number of doctors are available in the state, as per the information shared by Medical Education Minister Vishwas Sarang on Wednesday. We are planning to open 10 new medical colleges in the state. We are also mulling opening medical colleges through public-private partnership, that is PPP mode, he said. According to the information shared by him, the state will also be receiving the five imported genome sequencing machines from the centre, while the Madhya Pradesh government will purchase four such machines on its own, he said, adding that these machines will be put to use in different medical colleges in the state. To ease the hardships of people, the state government will soon start Marie's Mitra Yojana in the state, under which interested persons can work in hospitals as volunteers to serve needy patients and help them in all possible manners, he said. The Madhya Pradesh Board of Secondary Education, MPBSC, has released the date sheets for classes 9 and 11 board examinations. As per the official notification, the MP board exams 2022 for classes 9 and 11 are scheduled to begin from March 15th and 16th, 2022 accordingly. The date sheet has been released on the official website that is mpbsc.nic.in. Students can check the date sheet for better preparation for exams. The MP board exams for Class 9 are scheduled to begin from March 16, 2022 till April 12, 2022 and for Class 11 are scheduled to begin from March 15, 2022 till April 13, 2022. Banaras Hindu University has decided to reopen the campus for offline classes, barring first-year batches for some faculties. After a meeting of directors of institutes, deans of faculties and senior officers of the university, it was decided to open the campus for offline classes, with some exceptions. The university will be opened in offline mode for all PhD students with immediate effect. All the classes of the Institute of Medical Sciences will continue to be conducted in offline mode. All the classes in the Faculty of Agriculture, Faculty of Veterinary Science, Faculty of Management Studies and Institute of Environment and Sustainable Development will be conducted in offline mode. In these institutes and faculties, final year classes will be conducted in offline mode with immediate effect and those of remaining years from February 21, 2022. 
all the classes except that of the first year in the Institute of Science, Faculty of Arts, Social Sciences, Law, Education, Performing Arts, Visual Arts, Commerce, SPDB and MMB will be conducted in the offline room. Researchers at Indian Institute of Technology, Jodhpur, have identified variations in the RNA of COVID-19 virus using state-of-the-art genomic sequencing methods, according to officials. The scientists have also studied the fixation of these intra-host variations into extra-host variations and mutations that lead to variants. The results of the two-phase study have been published in the journal Nucleic Acid Research. The RNA structure of the COVID-19 virus frequently undergoes minor modifications within the host cells. These modifications occur at the nucleotide level, nucleotide being the building block of the RNA molecule. Many of these intra-host variations are caused by enzymes present in the host cell as an immune response, said Mitali Mukherjee, Head Department of Bioscience and Bioengineering, IIT Jodhpur. Thus, many of these variations are harmless or even destructive to the virus itself. However, some variations can enhance the survivability of the virus and become fixed as extra-host variations that could potentially lead to variants of concern, she added. The research team studied intra-host single nucleotide variations, that is ISNV, using a sequencing platform called Illumina. The team has observed similar patterns across populations and waves of the pandemic. It also tracked the ISNVs over time to see if the variants produced inside the host cells can persist outside, thereby becoming fixed as SNVs. They found that by June 30, 2021, about 80% of the ISNV sites they had identified in 2020 became fixed as SNVs. The conversion of ISNVs to SNVs was substantiated in Phase 2 studies that showed ISNVs were found in most of the Delta and Kappa variants before their fixation as SNVs by February 2021. The evolution of SNVs from ISNVs can affect vaccine response by altering the antibody generation in infected individuals, Ms. Mukherjee said. The Chandigarh administration on Thursday announced that the schools for all classes and coaching institutes will reopen with full capacity in hybrid mode from February 14. However, the detailed order in this regard will be issued by the Secretary of Education, Chandigarh administration separately. Earlier on January 31st, the administration had allowed the higher educational institutions universities and colleges to reopen from February 1st. However, the reopening of colleges is subject to conditions that all students of 15 to 18 years should have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and teaching non-teaching staff should be fully vaccinated. Meanwhile, RJD MP Manoj Kumar Jha on Thursday urged the centre in Rajya Sabha to immediately reopen all colleges and universities, saying imparting education is getting severely affected due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Making a zero-hour mention, Jha said students are not getting education for the last almost two years due to closure of educational institutions. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, theenn.com. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Signing off, Nitya.